Hey folks, we have done some major improvements into our solution. Now you can also secure a Spring Boot application from decompilation and reverse engineering. In this video, I'll show you how to do it. And alongside, you can see the improvements that we have done. So let's start. This is our Spring Boot web application, which we are going to secure from decompilation and reverse engineering. If you don't know how to get the JXEC build root, please watch our previous video. The video link is in the description. Let's start securing our Spring Boot web application. This is our JXEC build tool. You can see the application options here. Choose the Spring Boot web application option. Browse the web file. The start class will get filled automatically and you can also change it or you can provide it manually. Browse the destination zip file to convert and save the application. Click on convert and save button and it's done. Our Spring Boot web application has been secured successfully and it has been wrapped into the destination zip file. Let's check if our application works properly or not. Let's extract the zip file and execute the JXJR file. Our application has been started successfully. Let's open the browser and test it. Our rate page is also working properly. Now before going to further, let's quickly explore the new JXEC jar file. As you can see there are no classes in the new jar file. Only record files are there. All the classes have been secured and removed from their path and will be available at one time. Now we have the most important part of our solution. This can explain and solve many of the problems that you can face. So please do not skip this part in the video. The main challenge here that we will face is the component scanning feature of the Spring Boot. The component scanning feature will not work after the conversion. Because now the classes do not exist in the jar file and the Spring IoT container is unable to create and manage their instance. So to solve the challenge, there is a code change that we need to do before securing our Spring Boot application. The code change here is to provide a configuration and defining the bean wire method. So before securing the Spring Boot application, we need to do this change and recompile it and then use our build tool to secure it. In this demo project, I have created one abstract class which our demo application class extends. And in this abstract class, I have defined our bean method. We have also uploaded this demo project on GitHub for you to explore and see how we are solving different challenges, especially the repository one. The demo project link is in the description. We are continuously developing and adding more features and support to our solution. Subscribe our YouTube channel to know. Thank you for watching this video.